Hello everyone, I'm John Kwon Lee from Computer Vision Lab of Seoul National University. Today I will present a deeply recursive convolutional network for image issue resolution. This work has been done with Jimon Kim, me and my advisor, Professor Kyung Ri. First, I will start my talk with introducing super resolution problem. Super resolution problem, abbreviated as SR, is the problem to reconstruct sharp and high resolution images from given spatially low resolution images. In normal situation, we can usually get large but blurry or not clear images from most image viewers. But with some super resolution techniques, we can get big and also sharp images from low resolution images. This work, this work actually starts from our another work, VDSR. After we train the VDSR, we observe that some internal layers are look similar. They have same size and the same number of filters by design, and the pattern of activation was also similar between layers. The effect reminds us of recursion. After we got ideas of recursion, we may think that it could be very effective and efficient for super resolution problem itself. In super resolution problem, the receptive field size of neural network is very important because it, it, <coughs> it determines the amount of contextual information which is very important clue for missing high frequency information. As you can see in these figures, with large size of context, we may figure out what it is more clearly. <clears throat> Among many approaches to widen the receptive field, increasing the network depth is one possible and promising way. A convolutional layer with filter size larger than a 1 by 1 or a filling layer that reduces the dimension of intermediate representation, representation can be used to widen the receptive field of neural network. But both approaches have drawbacks. A convolutional layer introduces more, more parameters and a pooling layer typically discards some pixel-wise information. So we need a better and more efficient way to neural network, uh, for neural network model to secure the large receptive field to solve super resolution problem well. It is the deep recursive neural network model I'll talk about. The recursive model itself was introduced several times in literature, but they are regarded suitable for temporal or sequential data, so they have been limited use on algorithms on single static imaging. But some have tried to use recursion network to static image domains, but they have some limitations. First, they were too shallow. Before our model, the maximum number of recursion reported was just three times. And second, they keep making the spatial size of hidden layer small. That is not allowed feature in a super, resolu super resolution task because SL methods predict full size images. And last, they showed or feeding problem. Our network is similar to the above in the sense that recursive layers are used with convolution. But we further increase the recursion depth and demonstrate that very deep recursion can significantly boost the performance of super resolution problem. And we apply the same convolution up to 16 times and use their path to hidden layer to keep the spatial size and succeed it to avoid overfitting using new methods I will talk about. From now on, I'll talk about our approach. Our first model outlined in this figure consists of three sub-networks, embedding, inference, and reconstruction networks. The embedding net is used to represent the given image as feature maps ready for inference. Next, the inference net solves the task. And then, once the inference is done, final feature maps in the inference net are fed into the reconstruction net to generate the output image. From exploit the recursion, a model uses very large receptive field and can improve 
the performance without introducing new parameters just for more recursions. As you can see, the interface inter inference net recursively <laughs> applied again and again 16, 16 times maximum. But the basic model itself was not perfect. While the recursive model is simple and powerful, but we find training a deeply recursive network is very difficult. Among many reasons, the most severe problems are vanishing and exploding gradient. In addition to gradient problems, there exists an issue with finding the optimal number of recursions to solve the problem. If recursions are too deep for a given task, we need to reduce the number of recursions, or if recursions are too shallow, we need to increase the number of recursions. To ease the above-mentioned difficulty, we propose two new learning techniques for recursion network. One is recursive supervision, and another is skip connection. We supervise all recursions in order to smooth the effect of vanishing or exploding gradients and use all ensemble of intermediate prediction to get final output. And we connect the input directly to the end reconstruction net to keep input intact till the last part of Sobro. As we have assumed that the same representation space can be used again and again during convolutions in the inference net, the same reconstruction net is used to predict HR image for internal recursions. Our reconstruction net now outputs D predictions and all predictions are supervised during training at the same time. Recursive supervision handles the gradient problem because backpropagation goes through a small number of layers if supervising signal goes directly from lost layer to only recursions. And also summing all gradients backpropagated from different prediction losses gives a smoothing effect that acts as a way of regularization. As outputs reconstructed from all depths are ensembled, cherry picking the optimal depth is not required anymore. Because it learns the ensemble weight too, model can softly pick the optimal weight or optimal number of recursion. For SR, input and output images are highly correlated. Carrying most input values until the end of the network is inevitable, but is very ineffective. So we add a skip connection from input to the reconstruction network. Now input image is directly fed into the reconstruction net whenever it is used during recursions. Our skip connection has two advantages. First, network capacity to store the input signal during recursions is saved. Second, the exact copy of the input signal can be used during target prediction. So in summary, its intermediate prediction at recursion D is supervised. And from all the recur internal recursion lizards, reconstruction that output D different intermediate lizards. And the final output is the weighted sum of all D predictions with learned weight. This is the final loss from our techniques. The L1 is lost for our intermediate outputs and L2 is loss for the final output. So total loss is sum of L1 and L2. In the beginning stage of the learning, we set alpha near to 1 to supervise each intermediate laser first. Setting alpha high makes the training procedure stable as only recursions easily converge. As training progresses, alpha decays to boost the performance of the final output we want. Uh, the train, training data we use is conventional one which consists of 91 clear natural images from young and low. We get 41 by 41 small patches from them with try 21. To make low resolution image pair with high resolution one, we use bicubic interpolation method from MATLAB. And for evaluation, we should set 5, set 14, BSDS 100 images originally for segmentation task, and over 100 images that consists of very large and structural images from urban scene. This is our experimental results.
First, I will introduce the effects of our DRCM model. In general, we can observe that more extreme recursions which give larger receptive field size lead to a better performance. After we evaluate each recursion results independently, we found that the ensemble of our intermediate predictions give very huge import improvement on performance. And we also found that for larger scale factor for triple resolution, we need more recursions to solve. It falls together with our expectation that model will softly pick the optimal recursion number. This is our qualitative results. We compared ours with for different methods, A+, SRCNN, RFL, and SELF-VX, which is their existing state-of-the-art methods reported from 2014 and 15. Rest column is our result. You may see that our method restored the line more clear. And from this image, you may see the cross pattern from the glasses are well restored only by ours. And you can see the border of windows are more clear from by our models. It looks very similar to ground truth one. And our model can also handle natural images as well. The RCM can decompose the curves from the kind of saddle of horse. And parallel lines are the best one that we can see the superiority of our model. The line components of ours are most similar with ground, ground truth one. And finally, our good friend VB8. Some of you might see this figure from Reddit, we uploaded it. And the blurry VB8 robot can get pretty by our DRCN. Here's the entire result table. DRCN outperforms the existing method by a larger margin, except for VDSR. VDSR performs better on C5 and... Oh... Ah, uh, no. My mistake. Performs better on B <coughs> BFDS100 or Urban 100. Let me conclude. <coughs> we propose a noble SL method using deeply recursive convolutional network. Moreover, we propose two techniques to train a recursive model well, recursive supervision and skip connection, and shows the superior results. We expect that this kind of method can be applied to other image restoration tasks well. Thank you for listening.